Hey, in this tutorial I will show you how to install FL Studio with low latency. First, you have to install a player on Linux. You go to your Ubuntu Software Center and search for play on Linux and you install it. I have already installed it, you can see. And then you go to play on Linux and into Tools and Wine Manager and make sure you have installed it 1.1 uh, 1.41 uh, to install you just select over here and press this button or, or double click when you have installed this you close this and you choose you press install a program and choose non listed and now this pop up and we just press next and choose New virtual driver, driver, and uh, you type a name here. I just call it Ethel. You can type whatever you want. And uh, we have all uh, installed and unwind, so we just press next and wait for uh, Play on Linux to create our virtual driver. And uh, here you just press, press install. Now play on Linux asks you for the set of files. If you not already have a set of files, you can uh, download it here from uh, FL Studio. You can download a demo to try it, or you can purchase it here. And then you have uh, downloaded, you can browse for it here. And I have downloaded a demo here. Oh, oh, there. The last one, and you just press uh, next, and uh, Play on Linux will start up the Windows application setup files. When the setup file start up, you just press next, and of course next here, and here you can choose what you want, but I choose all users, and here you have to uh, deselect. These two, you don't have, you don't need them. So you just deselect these two and uh, press next, and next again, and of course next. And now we just have to wait for FL Studio to install. Now FL Studio setup files is finished, and you can just press next and next and finish. And the. Uh, this uh, doesn't matter, you just press next. I don't know why it's doing, doing that. And now, the player on Linux asks you for a uh, shot up. No, <laughs> shortcut. Um, Bob. And uh, you can choose as many as you want to, but uh, I will look for this one. Here, FL Studio, and press next, and you can choose uh, the name of the shortcut, and I call it FL 12, 12. And uh, now we continue asking for shortcuts, and uh, you can uh, choose others if if you want to, but uh, I leave it this 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 one here. And uh, now I just pick channel. Or cancel, sorry, cancel. And now you choose your FL Studio and press configure. And uh, if you have forgot to make a shortcut, you can still make it here. And uh, now to be completely sure, you choose one for one here and uh, click wine and click configure wine and just let it start up once. And uh, you can uh, close it again. You can also choose Windows 7 here if you want to. And press OK. And now you go to install components and you choose Microsoft Frontier and press install. And this is very quick. And now you jump to this wine. I think it stands for audio system in and out. 
and uh, you just press install and wait for it to install it's also very fast and now I think we should it should be so now we just have to install another program and it's called Jack Audio Connection Kit and you just search for here in Ubuntu Center here you just search, search for Jack D and you install this Jack Audio Connection Kit and then you have done it and now you start up Jack Audio and go to setup and uh, here you can uh, set up your audio card and uh, here you choose your frames and it depends on your audio card how fast it is the faster the better um, mine is not specific fast so uh, I choose 700 and uh, assembling rates and buffer you can all uh, you can trick, trick this here yourself um, it all depends on your sound card and here you can see the latency in, uh, in milliseconds so uh, we say this is ok for my sound card and press ok and now you just stop and start again when you are changed and now you just have to start FL Studio by pressing run now I have started FL Studio and uh, now you have to connect to Jack Audio so you go to uh, options and audio settings and here you choose wine uh, audio system in and out and now you're connected to Jack Audio with low latency and uh, now you're ready to make some music I cannot show you uh, the low latency um, but you have to trust me, it works very really fine on my computer. So if you like this uh, tutorial, remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.